All right, guys. So today we're going to check out the brand new Skull Candy Smoking Buds. Now, this is kind of an interesting one for me because the Smoking Buds and the Smoking Buds 2, like the original ones, were neckband wireless earbuds. And so they didn't actually change the name. They're still called the Smoking Buds, but now they're just a regular pair of true wireless earbuds. And in my history so far with Skull Candy, when it comes to true wireless earbuds, it hasn't really been the best. So I'm very curious to how these kind of pan out. Uh, this is not an expensive pair because on their site, the Smokin' Buds come in at $24. Although the pair that I have is the Smokin' Buds XT. Now the XT models are always ones that you can find at Walmart. Uh, they're a little bit cheaper and they still have the exact same features and the same sound. I haven't seen anything that's any different. Uh, the XT model you can pick up at Walmart for like $19. So this is a sub $20 pair of earbuds. Uh, and so far, it seems as though this is where Skull Candy's strength is. It seems like anything over $50, I haven't seen anything that's warranted that price. So they need to kind of stay in this lower range, I think, to be able to have something that is interesting in the market. But we're going to check these out. We're going to talk about what comes in the box. We're going to talk about the sound and see if these are worth the $20 to $25 price tag. Now the case and the earbuds themselves feel extremely light and I would say almost to the point of feeling cheap. Uh, it does say that they're made out of 50% certified recycled plastics. So maybe that's what they're going for. But you know, if you're looking for something that's not heavy and something that you could throw in a pocket, uh, not feel like it's weighing it down any, this definitely fits that. Now the earbuds themselves does have a short little stem. Again, it's very comfortable. In fact, it actually on Skull Candy's site is labeled as being their most comfortable earbud. And actually I can kind of agree with this. I didn't notice any discomfort. I didn't have to adjust these. Uh, they do use touch controls. And this was an interesting choice because I haven't seen this or at least that I can remember. It controls everything, but it does not give you track control. So you, you can't skip your track forward. You cannot go backwards. Uh, you can play, pause, turn your volume up and down. You can summon your smart assistant and you can even switch between the three different EQ modes that are built in on the earbuds because it has the music mode, which is what it's on by default. Uh, it has a movie mode and then it has a podcast mode, which is going to bring out or at least focus on dialogue a little bit better. But honestly, there's not much of a difference between these three different EQ modes. I noticed that it seemed that the movie mode kind of added a little bit more low end where the podcast mode, like I said, it starts to bring out a little bit more in the dialogue, but I just left it in music mode most of the time. But again, it's a very strange choice that you cannot control your tracks on the earbuds. And these do not work with Skull Candy's app. So you can't go in and switch any of your controls around or add track control. And then as far as technology wise, this is also kind of confusing because on Skull Candy's website, it says Bluetooth 5.1 in some areas, uh, but it also says Bluetooth 5.2, which is what it says on the manual uh, that came with the Smokin' Buds XT that I have here. And then as far as Bluetooth codecs, it only supports AAC and SBC, but in this price range, that is definitely understandable. Now, if you are going to use these outdoors or if you're looking for a pair to use at the gym, uh, they do come in with an IPX4 rating, which means they're not going to survive if you drop them into water, but they'll be fine with rain and sweat and splashes and things like that. And then as far as what they include in the box, it does come with three sets of silicone ear tips. Uh, it does come with a very small USB-C cable, which you are going to have to use this because as expected in this price range, uh, the case is not a Qi wireless charging case and speaking of the charging I was actually surprised with the battery life or at least the battery life on the earbuds themselves because on a full charge you're going to get about eight hours on the earbuds and you're gonna get about 20 hours using the case but another plus is if you do pick them up and they're dead this has an impressive fast charge feature where a 10 minute charge is going to get you about two hours of use. So that was nice to see on a pair of earbuds in this price range. And then moving over, if you're going to use these for taking phone calls, I think the mics are just okay. I don't think it's anything spectacular, but I think it picks up my voice fine. And I also felt like it did a pretty decent job of blocking out the sounds around me. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here's the mic test using the Skull Candy Smoking Buds. And like I said, I think it picks up my voice okay. Uh, it definitely sounds digital and I really think that it's adding some warmth to my voice. But this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. 
And so now here's the mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. And the sound, well, they kind of sounded like I expected them to. They were definitely bass heavy uh, to the point where it's kind of bloated. It definitely will affect your mids and treble depending on what you're listening to, uh, especially when I'm going to listen to metal where there's a lot going on. It just felt like the double bass of the drum started to just tame down the mids and the treble a little bit too much because the bass on these does add a little bit of warmth, uh, which normally I'm fine with. It does give things a natural sound, uh, but in this case, I just felt like it dialed back the mids and the treble a little too much, especially in genres like metal. Now, I will say with genres like pop or hip hop where things are a little bit more simplified or a little bit more clean, it sounds much better uh, for those genres. So I don't really feel like this is a pair that I would use for all different types of genres. If you're going to the gym and you're mainly just listening to pop or hip hop, uh, this will be okay for that. Uh, but if you listen to a lot of different things, I think you're just going to be disappointed uh, when it goes from one genre to the next. It's just not one of those that kind of covers all those bases. And I could be nitpicking for a pair that's only $20, but we have definitely checked out some very impressive pairs in this price range, and that's usually what I go by. Now, as far as the sound stage and the sound imaging, uh, this is not a very wide open sounding earbud at all. In fact, this is one of those that does sound like you just have two large speakers in front of you, but it's also not extremely loud. So, you know, if you're going to be that like dominant in your face style sound or at least tuning, you would hope that would also match with a very loud volume. Now, I'm not saying that these don't get loud. They just don't seem to get loud enough. I seem to always want to get like, you know, maybe two to three notches louder than what they were capable of doing. So keep that in mind if you're somebody that likes to just listen at full blast all the time. So with grading these on each genre that a lot of people listen to, if you mainly listen to pop and hip hop, I would give these a seven. I think most people that like bass are gonna be happy with these. Uh, don't expect you know your details to stand out like they do in a lot of other earbuds, but they're not completely dulled out either. So I think they're fine with this genre, but when it moves over to rock and metal, this is where I pull these down to a five. I just feel like they lack too much detail to really sound good for rock and metal. And kind of the same thing with easy listening. I think vocals sound fine, they just don't sound great. And, and if you're listening to anything where bass is kind of coming in, it's just going to dull it down that much more. So for easy listening, I give these a six. And with media, if you're going to be, you know, watching movies or videos and possibly gaming on these, I only give them a six here as well. And that's because, you know, if you're watching something and the explosions are going on, the dialogue is going to start to kind of take a hit there. And I don't feel like the dialogue stands out enough uh, that it works really well for all of those different types of media you could be using them on. So my overall rating is going to be a six. I know that, again, probably seems a little harsh for a pair that's $19 or $25, depending on which one you get. But I think that Skull Candy themselves have better options in this price range. I think the Dime is a better choice. I think the Jib is a better choice. They, I think the Sesh right now, uh, you can get for about $25, and that is a much better choice. So there's better options that Skull Candy has, but this is a very comfortable pair. It's a comfortable pair that you're going to be able to wear for a long time because the battery life is impressive on these. Just don't expect great sound, and that's kind of where I sit with these. So do I recommend them? I guess it just kind of depends on the use and what you're looking for. I mean, for a cheap pair of earbuds that you can use at the gym or the beach, I think they sound fine. So if that's where your expectations are, I think you'll be happy. But guys, that wraps up my video on the Skull Candy Smoking Buds XT. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.